Hello and welcome to Grim Reactions. I'm Eric and today we're watching Kimi na no wa, also known as Your Name. I've been excited for this movie for a while. Um, it was like back when I started doing uh, Harry Potter videos. I was like, yeah, I want to watch Harry Potter and I want to watch some um, Ghibli movies and I want to watch Your Name, this movie. So it's, I, I've, I haven't, I've been so caught up doing all sorts of things, but I've been, ex I've been waiting for this uh, and it's finally here and I'm so excited to get into this. I don't like, I've been excited for this. I don't really know anything about the story or like, I know it's an anime movie. I know it's very well regarded as like one of the best anime movies of the last decade. So I mean, I mean that's that's really all I know. I I try hard to not look up too many things. I try hard not to spoil myself. That's one of the reasons why I avoid trailers so very 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 much because trailers these days tend to give away all the cool stuff in the entire movie. So uh, if you watch trailers, I mean you. <laughs> I remember. When it, the the Independence Day uh, reboot, the the new Independence Day movie, I saw the trailer for that. Then when I watched the movie, it was like, yeah, okay, so you just put everything cool that happened in the entire movie in the trailer. Okay, that's fun. Uh, so I might I could just have watched the trailer and gotten much the same experience because I'm not watching that for like a deep, intricate, interesting story. <laughs> I'm watching that for cool explosions, <laughs> pretty much. So, I, I don't know, man. But yeah, I tend to avoid watching trailers and the like. Uh, I want to go into things without being cursed by hype. Because hype can often be a curse these days. And just look at Cyberpunk. That was, um, like, that was, um, that was massively overhyped. So I try to avoid that. And I don't know, most of the times, I, I mean, I may miss stuff, but... Uh, things I don't know exist whatsoever, but in general, I feel it's a better experience, you know? It's like you get to be surprised. Like One Division, that was a massive surprise for me. I had no idea what to expect, and it's quickly becoming one of my favorite shows uh, of all time, really. It's so fun and cool. You should definitely try to check it out if you haven't seen WandaVision. You should definitely try to check it out if you're a Marvel fan, that is. I don't know what the experience for that would be like if you're not a Marvel fan. But never mind that. It's time for an anime movie. So let's get into this. Your name. Let's go. This is so exciting. I really have literally zero idea what to expect. Oh my god, that is pretty. Something is crashing to Earth. Is it just a meteorite? Or is it something more? Ooh. That's a really pretty city shot. Oh, you're searching for each other. Is that it? You're searching for each other? You're trying to find each other? Oh my goodness, this is really, really pretty. Yeah, that is really beautiful. Oh, they grew... They grew apart? They knew each other as young? Is that what that means? Yeah, you're reaching out for each other. Are they connected by the red thread of fate? Is that what that means? No, oh, that alarm clock would would that alarm clock would not work on me. Hey there. Woke up, did you? Or 
Yes, you're. It, it's boobies. You're a girl. Onechan? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Do we have a Freaky Friday going on here? Or is it an aging thing? Like she changed ages? This is really pretty. Oh, what a landscape shot. Whew. It's not that she's heavy. It's that he's embarrassed. <laughs> uh, people everywhere are disillusioned with the political system in modern democracies. <laughs> we got some foreshadowing going on, huh? <laughs> Who left that note? Did you leave that note? Hmm. <laughs> <sighs> but it's so pretty. My local store closed at 7. <laughs> Hello, That's not what they thought. <laughs> Vending machine? <laughs> wow, it's so pretty, man. Does he have a crush on Mitsuha? Is that it? So it's a love triangle. <laughs> Really? Mitsuha as in Mitsu, Mitsu 3 and Yotsuha as in 4, little sister. Little sister is number 4 and she's number 3. Is grandma 1 then? Probably. She probably is. But... It's not like she has much of a choice. It's tradition. Yes. But uh, the people who would buy it, I don't know if you want to sell to those people. You know? <laughs> Are we Freaky Fridaying this? <laughs> yes, and cut to this guy. <laughs> the other guy from the intro. Yeah, different voice. Yeah, we're Freaky Fridaying. Yeah, his boob's gone. And... Something else is gone or added, depending on how you, depending on how you see things. <laughs> I wonder how you would react if something like this happened to you. Like for me, it wouldn't. Waking up with boobs wouldn't really be a, a surprise because I I already have those. So <laughs> being a big ass. Fat ass. <laughs> Sitting like a girl as well. <laughs> and this isn't the first time it's happened either. Because of the, the patch. So I'm, I'm assuming that the, the patch on his cheek means that he got slapped. The last time it happened, and 
Mitsuha's friends said that you were acting weird yesterday. So, it obviously already happened. No, this is pretty cityscapes. Yeah, talk about completely different worlds. Wow. <laughs> Look how modestly he's sitting. Huh? <laughs> yes, there you go. That's how boys speak. <laughs> oh, it must be harsh having a feminine and masculine that far in the language, just like for everything. Yes, Instagram that. That was a very nice transition. I really liked that. <laughs> oh, at least she's trying. Oh, this is not. This is not good. This is a way too high stressful of an environment. No, oh, you want your meal comped? Is that what you're looking for? Oh, good guy. <laughs> yeah, that's an understatement. <laughs> oh, you're leaving a message. Yes, now it's it isn't making sense. Because that's the thing, like I mean, of course, if she thinks this is a message. If she thinks this is just a dream, then there's no reason to leave a message. And there's no reason to think of yourself, uh, like your body. But if it's not, then that means that your body has to be occupied by someone. <laughs> yeah. Now it's his turn. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> no, you're not. <laughs> She's the talk of the town now. Because she was at you were acting weird. Yes! Freaky Friday! The question is why though? <laughs> yeah, and he really enjoys it, huh? Oh, no baths, no looking, no touching. <laughs> That's how she wakes up when she's in in Taki's body, falling off the bed. I'm enjoying this montage quite a bit. Oh, he made a place to hang out. Oh, and she went out with Miss Okudera. That's pretty profound. Oh, that is pretty. Wow. Oh, my goodness. I am 
so impressed with the visuals of this movie so far. <laughs> she was Yotsuha was really excited about that. <laughs> Gorgeous. It's remarkably gorgeous. <laughs> you know, there's not... Sometimes it's hard to find words. It's just... Just enjoy. Just like shut up and enjoy. <laughs> so when she is he, he is more popular with with girls, and when he is she, he is more popular with girls. <laughs> oh, good lord! Yes, why are you crying? <laughs> you see something? Yeah, that I recognize that one in, yep, yeah. landscape shot from the hills. I recognize that. Yeah, <laughs> he actually is. Maybe you can't just admit it to yourself yet. Oh, that's why, that's why the crying. Is this magic going to disappear? After the comet disappears? Is that the connection like it started when the comet was approaching? But, um, and now it's the peak and then it's gonna pass and it's gonna subside. Something, I don't know. Yeah, there it is. You fancy. That's significant. Oh, I see. I see. It's parallel universes. It's a split. It's a split world line. Does he want to be an architect? The details, man. Like the little fragments of a racer that just came loose. And there's the thread, huh? The red thread of fate. As it's so frequently known. Hello. <laughs> ぶっちゃけて愛計か。すげえよ。お前最近やけに危なっかしいから。いや、すみません、アクティングウェイド。電話は通じず、メールも届かず。だから俺は直接三津波に会いに行くことにした。ストップワーキングカスでコメントブレ
Providence. Finally. Ah, Itomori, yeah, na. Natsukashi na. Kono hito Itomori shushin ya de. Itomori. Oh, is it from a different time period? Oh. So it's not just it's it's time travel as well. Or is it or is it parallel universes? Or is it par time travel and parallel universes? Whoa. Have we heard about the comet when we've been in his world? Or was that just her world? Three years ago. Are they gone? Oh, it's disap all the red is disappear. Oh my god. No, oh, it's Tessa and Sayak. So they're 17. Yeah, there she is. It's a. <laughs> oh, this is so cool. Aren't you gonna have to reconnect somehow? And then try to prevent it. I mean, you can't really prevent it. But try to save people. Oh. No, wait. Yeah, so they have a past. They have met in the past. Yes, who was it? Was it a girl named Mitsa? Who a storm is brewing, huh? <laughs> oh, this is very portentous. Yeah, there you go, you made it. So pretty. So very, very pretty. He's tied to the meteor. Not only her. I mean, they did say struck where they all were gathered, but... No. <laughs> You're being weird. Mitsuha. <laughs> Grandma! <laughs> yeah. So all of you, then. Hmm. Yeah, but good luck trying to convince people. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Let's save people! But how? <laughs> yeah, I remember that his dad told him about uh, he was gonna learn explosives. Oh, <laughs> he knows. He knows because, like Grandma said, that everyone has experienced this. So he knows his wife did too. So, 
I really don't know how this is gonna resolve. It's really hard to know what's gonna happen. You're gonna see something shocking. Yeah, it's gone. No, you're from three years in the past. You can't. He can't remember you. That's that's when he got the threat, the bracelet. Oh, they're standing in the same place. That's where Taki stood when he tried to call. Phrasing. Phrasing. <sighs> it feels inevitable. Though. Like I wish I wish for a happy ending to this. I wish for a happy ending. But at the same time, it feels like what's gonna happen is inevitable. You know? Yeah. Don't be hurt, Mitsuha. Oh, that's so precious. And he finally remembers. You can't see each other. Yes, the underworld and so on, it's... I can't. We're just gonna run around. And never see each other. They felt something. <laughs> oh, when the line between worlds is blurred. Mitsuha. Oh, this is so precious. Doggy is dreaming as well. <laughs> it was not just once. It was no, it was not just once. <laughs> oh, nice. Oh, that's... Oh, that's heartbreaking. Yes. Your name. Oh my goodness. See. For me, the problem with time travel is that if you change something in the past, then if you change something in the past, then you have no reason to go back into the past and change the thing you change in the past. So the thing that happened in the past will still happen. So you can't change the past, really. That's a quality explosion. It 
Evacuate to the school! No. ただいま事故状況を確認しています。No. 町民の皆様は。No. No. まさに肉眼で目撃できていることは、この時代に生きる私たちにとっての大変な幸運と言うべきでしょう。Yeah, fortunate indeed, huh? 忘れちゃダメな人、忘れたくなかった人。This is so. This is sad. Really sad. Like I said, it feels so inevitable. It feels like. Namaikai to Kose. Oh. I was not ready for that. Hmm. <laughs> it's not important. It's still so gorgeous. Unbelievably gorgeous. Oh, that is also gorgeous. Suits <laughs> You too? Come on. Tada, is Mitsa gonna show up with the with the string? Shikashi Machi no Junin no Hotondoga. Kisekite ni Pujata. Hey! Hey! She's standing on the same bridge again. Do something! For God's sakes! Can't take this! If it ends this way, I'm gonna be very upset. The soundtrack has been really, really good. Oh, that's a brilliant ending. Heartwarming, and thank God I got my happy ending. I don't know what I would have done without that. Arigato for that. Like right now, I'm watching this. I, I watched this on my computer monitor, but I have to re-watch that on a on a bigger screen because wow, that was so pretty. Remarkably pretty. One thing I wanted to mention briefly is the whole concept of switching places, Freaky Fridaying, so to speak. Would you do that? Would you would you want to try that? I would I wouldn't mind trying that, briefly, at least. To see. Because I'm curious. And I, I would want to know what that's like. What it's like. If it's a difference. How big of a difference. Like, I don't know. I don't have that experience. 
And I would like to have that experience. I mean, I know I never will. I know that, but... I mean, you can always, you can always, like, imagine. That's the point of movies, escapism. Oh, puppy, you wanna go out? Yeah, I'll keep it short, because puppy wants to go out. I mean, I say puppy, but he's, he's ten years old. Uh, so, he's not really a puppy. Even though he acts like a freaking puppy. Despite being ten and a half years old. Freaking silly dog. I really enjoyed the fact that the thread, it came back to the thread a lot of times. And as a concept, that's not bad. This whole, like, red thread of destiny that connects us. And there was a lot of wonderful twists and turns. For a second there, I thought that they were, like, um, in, like, parallel universes. Like, parallel universes at the same time. Because I saw, like... I saw, like... I, I felt I was pretty sure that I saw that it was, like... Monday, September 18 or something. In one... In, in, in Mitsuha's world. And then, like, Thursday... This September 18th. In his world. Or something to that effect. It was, like, diff same date but different days of the week. So it's like, what? Wait, what? That doesn't make sense. But if you consider it being different years, then that does make sense. And we could get into this whole, like, many worlds theory and, like, parallel universes and so on, and butterfly effects and all that, but there's no really no point to it. Because it doesn't really lead anywhere. I really enjoy well-told stories about time travel. Because time travel is a really tricky subject to talk about, you know? Like, you could say that time travel to the future is possible. Because that's what happens, like, that's what everyone is doing all of the time. We're traveling through time towards the future. That is not only possible, it's the only possible alternative. Because the present is always the past, and the future is always the present. But traveling back in time is harder. Because traveling back in time... Like, my, my thoughts on it is as follows, that if you change something in the past, like, for instance, if you go back in time to kill Hitler, then doing so means that you live in a world where there is no Hitler. And in a world where there is never was a Hitler, you have no reason to, in the future, go back into the past and kill Hitler. So you wouldn't have gone back in the past to kill Hitler because there was no Hitler. So you, you end up, nothing, nothing ends up happening, really. Because it's like a paradox. Like, what happened happened and you can't really change it it has to it also has to do with um, like from a scientific standpoint it has to do with the era of time the universe is constantly moving from a point of low entropy to a point of high entropy it's successively getting there like when we absorb photons from the sun we give off 20 times the amount of neutrinos. So we transform one photon into 20 neutrinos, which results in higher entropy, because it's more chaotic. And the arrow of time, arrow of time only flows in one direction, from a state of low entropy to a state of high entropy. Which means that you can, you can crack an egg, and you can turn an egg into many different things, but once you crack it, you can't put it back in the shell. It's, it's done. You, can't, you can take it from an orderly state, being a, an egg, and crack it and into a more disordered state. Which is all entropy is. Entropy is a measure of the disorder of, the, of a system. So a, a, a system with high entropy is very disordered. 
and the universe is slowly like sliding apart everything is accelerating from each other things are moving apart and eventually it will just go black and everything will disappear will not disappear everything will still be here but it will lack meaning because the world has because the universe has gone cold and dark and everything has just drifted apart so from a state of the big bang when everything was concentrated in one small point everything is slowly drifting apart and getting more and more chaotic so the arrow of time only flows in one direction so you can't turn back time but so but yeah i find time travel a fascinating subject and interesting and i thought they did it really well in this like i haven't thought of it about it enough it's it's hard enough to keep up with because i'm swedish so it's hard enough to keep up with listening to japanese watching what's happening reading the subtitles and figuring out something useful or relevant to say in english all at the same time so i might need to watch this again to really like well, I'm, I'm going to watch this again. I don't know if I need to, but I want to. Uh, but I don't know if I... There's, I'm sure there's tons of stuff I missed that I need to watch again and pay, pay closer attention the next time. But I really, really enjoyed that. That was really, really good. Like, I haven't seen a movie yet in this YouTube experiment adventure that I didn't really, really enjoy. Yeah, this was really good. This was really, really good. And so pretty. I really understand why it has been spoken of so well by so many. Why I knew about it and why I wanted to watch it. It makes perfect sense. Because it's a very touching love story with some interesting storytelling choices. And gorgeous visuals and a really really good soundtrack and good sound design overall i thought it sounded really really good but then i often really enjoy like the sound design in japanese animated movies maybe it's because i've seen just i've focused on watching like the the cream of the crop of them so far so, like, if you watch the best of the best, then, of course, all of the, all of the parts are going to be good. But, yeah. Comment down below. What did you think? Did you enjoy this movie? Um, I, think, I, I think you do, because why else would you be here? But would you, Freaky Friday, into a different gender? If you could. For a day, maybe. Maybe for a week. I don't know. I don't know, the, the duration is not important. The important part is, would you try it if you had the chance and you knew you could go back? I would, because why not? Any experiences. Well, not all experiences are good experiences, but well, maybe they are. Most experiences are good in that you find out what you want to try again and what you don't want to try again. I know I tried being vegetarian at one point, I did it for like a month or so, but it did not work for me, so I stopped doing that. I did not enjoy it, but I tried it at least, and I know I don't want to try it again. But there are things that I don't need to try, of course. But in general, you should try to have as many experiences as you can. Use some common sense in it, though, because I'm sure everyone can come up with things that would be a terrible idea to try so if you have any comments leave them down below i would really enjoy i would really enjoy reading them if you liked the video leave a like if you want to see more i do movies and tv series of different sorts i really don't have any limits i can i'm interested in most anything and everything so do subscribe if you want to stick around and i try to upload daily and with that said, I am done. This has been Grim Reactions. I've been Eric. I thank you very much for joining me, and I'll see you in the next episode. Peace.